right. Hi folks, Mickey Brown here, Southeaster Marine. 2021's newest Sea Hunt Boats dealer, and we're here to walk you through the smallest in their Ultra series, the newly redesigned 219 Ultra Family Center console. Let's take a look. Here we've got a boat done in sea glass green, uh, or excuse me, I'm sorry, Abaco green, uh, Abaco green bottom, white sides, Abaco green underside top, white powder coating. And we're gonna take a quick walk through this boat. Walk around here to the back, and what we're going to see new for 2021 is we're going to see this built-in setback in the back of the hull, which is going to get your motor back in a little bit cleaner water, make it run better, perform better, and cavitate less. Uh, also, you'll see we're outfitted with Bennett electric marine trim cabs with automatic retract, and in typical Sea Hunt fashion, we're running Yamaha Reliance Series factory match power match propellers come on up the dock let's take a quick walk through this boat i'll get my butt on in what you'll see up here in the bow of this boat is an expansive seating area for a 219 or for a 21 foot boat uh, much bigger seating than a lot of the competition is going to offer this is done in our tan upholstery uh, which I really like and I really think works well with the uh, Abaco Green. But uh, up here we do have some fish boxes. We've got a uh, 70 quart over here that's great to put your drinks or, or great for dry storage. And on our other side, we've got a 110 quart fish box for that big catch. One thing you're going to notice about Sea Hunt boats, they finish off all their lids and live wells and uh, all, the, all the hatches are actually done with the resin transfer molded hatch system. So very nice feature and really a, a testament to the quality of these boats. Uh, of course, big, thick cushions. You can see how thick that thing actually sits when you actually sit your butt down here. An anchor locker up front, uh, nice heavy duty hardware, but not a whole bunch of wasted space for an anchor locker. We love our bow backrest. This is a, this is a very good, sturdy design, a lot sturdier than some of the other things we've sold over the last few years. Uh, and so a very nice design there. You've got cup holders up here in the bow. We've also got another 48 quart cooler down here too. So uh, you could also use that for your, for your catch or for drinks or for bait, your choice. It's done in blue just in case you want to keep the bait happy. But walking back to the console, we're going to find still this boat carries V all the way behind the driver's seat and we have over 55 degrees of, of dead rise and entry, and still we're carrying over 20 degrees of dead rise even to where I'm seated. But this is one of the big things that makes this boat uh, a real, real, real nice boat is we've got a big boy console for a 21 foot boat and everything's laid out well, just like you'd find on a 30 footer. We've got a Garmin nine inch in our dash. We've got the blackout dash set up. We've also got the ability to slap a cell phone right here and charge it on a wireless phone charger. And of course we can also connect it to our JL Audio Stereo, which is very intuitive, easy to work, and sounds great. When we can actually get a signal. Uh, GPS fish finder here. You're gonna spend most of your time in a chart sonar fashion. This is a nine inch Garmin. We've got a tilted element transducer on the bottom of the boat. They took a perfectly good boat and actually cut a hole in it and through bolted a transducer through the bottom. So very accurate, it's a B150M Sherp transducer. So you're gonna actually see fish in real time, not old scrolling technology a few years back. Uh, we've got speed, we've got speed and tachometer down here right at the helm where it's easy to see. Plus we have fuel management. So unlike a lot of boats, we're not relying on this Garmin to do too much. Otherwise we need a bigger screen. But uh, we got a Garmin VHF radio up top in the upper electronics box. And they've mounted up top so you've still got a bunch of room for storage. And you can see we got the courtesy lights going. And my favorite feature in the hard top is this Mr. System. You get this going in on a hot summer day and it's like Universal Studios up in your boat just without the COVID. So, very nice feature to be able to mist yourself down on a hot summer day. And what you're going to notice about the way this boat's laid out is the switchology or the buttonology is very intuitive. 
if you were an airline pilot, you'd have no problem finding your way and navigating through this boat. They've got the Garmin dead center on the steering wheel. You've got your gauges right here, and your buttons are easy to get to. A lot of other boats, I'll see the gate. They'll see. They'll put the gauges over here, or they'll put the GPS over here, or they'll put the switches all the way over here, which means I'm all up in my passenger's room. Very nice leaning post. We've got, of course, the flip-flop bolster seat. Very comfortable, nice handhold for your passenger. And one, two, three different steps that you can actually put your feet on, whether it be here, whether it be here, whether it be on the gator step here. So very comfortable for all heights and designs. And one thing you're gonna see about this D-channel T-top is this thing's not going anywhere. It's one of the sturdiest T-tops available for a boat in this price point and in this size. Uh, you're gonna find a lot of other rickety stuff out there that they want more money for. So uh, we do have a nice size head inside this console. That's why it's so big. We do include a porta potty with all the sea hunts that we do sell. And so we go ahead and do these boats right. We do them the same way we do our Grady White boats that we've sold for 46 years, even though we're Sea Hunt's newest dealer. Uh, another thing I like to point out is the fact we run bolsters all the way down the side of the boat standard. You don't get a choice. That's just the way you're going to get these boats. It's completely dressed out and upholstered very nicely. And then back here, I think this is where this boat wins over the competition. You're going to find that these seat cushions actually sit a lot deeper than the equivalent 21 foot boat seats. And so that is critical to not only have a thick cushion, but a cushion that sits deeper, a seat back that sits higher. The VIP companion seat is probably the nicest seat you're going to find in a 21 foot boat to put your wife back there and keep her happy. Uh, underneath this center seat, we do have a nice 15 gallon live well ready to go standard in the back of the boat where it's easy to do some fishing. Uh, we've also got underneath this seat bucket storage. And you'll notice in the back we've got a, a ski tow bar back here. Um, the price on this is very, very, very good. It's a very aggressive price. Uh, and of course a walkthrough right here so you can board on and off the boat. I've got the spreader lights shining on the back end up here that you'll see in this six speaker stereo T-top with two jail audio speakers right by your head and four more down in the boat. We've also got the Kingfish rod holders over here so you can do some trolling. And last but not least, one of the neat features that these guys offer that I haven't seen on any other boat other than maybe a Grady White is you've got an actual stern anchor holder to hold a second anchor for when you go to the sandbar. It's back here in the corner here and it's ready to put that second anchor in and uh, go hang out on the sandbar, listen to the stereo and play some tunes and have a good time. So, just wanted to give you a quick preview of the brand new Ultra 219 Sea Hunt boat for 2021 model year with Sea Hunt's newest dealer, Southeastern Marine, Mickey Brown, Richmond, Virginia. Thanks for taking the time to take a look at this video. I uh, want you to give us a call at 804-226-1111 and give us a try before you buy here at Southeastern Marine. Thanks for watching. Mickey Brown out.